Welcome to a video on how to determine the relative extrema on the graphing calculator. For example, let's say we want to determine the relative extrema of the following function. Well, the first step is to enter the function into the graphing calculator. So if we press y equals, and then type in the function, Now to make sure we have the standard window, we can press zoom 6. This looks like a very good window to calculate the relative extrema. If we didn't have a good view of the graph here, we'd have to adjust the window by pressing this button here. So we can see a high point here, this will be a relative maximum. And we can see a low point here, and this will be a relative minimum. To calculate the exact coordinates of this point, if we press second trace, which brings up the calculation menu, we have to decide whether we want to find the minimum or maximum first. Let's go ahead and find the minimum first. So we'll press option three. Now it's going to ask us a series of questions. The first one is what is the left bound? So if we're trying to find the minimum, which is located here, we need to be to the left side of this point. And we are to the left of the point already, but let's go ahead and get a little bit closer, still remaining to the left. Now, once we're located close to the relative minimum, but to the left of it, we can press enter. Now it's going to ask for the right bound. So we need to move the cursor to the right of the relative minimum. Something like this. Press enter again. It is going to ask us to guess. This is actually optional. But if we move the cursor closer to the relative minimum, it can help the calculator out a little bit. Now press enter one more time, and it will tell us the coordinates of this point. Notice it's not perfect, but we have to recognize this point as 2, negative 4. Let's go ahead and record this. So this was the point 2, negative 4. We'll come back to this, but let's go ahead and try to find the point up here, which represents the relative maximum. So let's go back to the calculator. Now we'll press second trace again. Now select option 4 for maximum. Again, it's asking us for the left bound. We need to be the left of this point here. So we'll hit the left arrow. You can hold it down if you want. It'll scroll automatically. Now we're to the left of this point, so we'll press enter. Now ask for the right bound. We'll move to the right side of the relative maximum. Press enter. And then again, it's going to ask us to guess. I'm just going to go ahead and move the cursor closer to the relative maximum. Press enter again. And you can see the coordinates of this point are negative 2, 4. Let's go ahead and record that, and then we'll draw our conclusions. For the relative maximum, it could be expressed a number of ways. Some textbooks list them as ordered pairs. But technically, the relative maximum is the y value, and the x value is the location. So what would be a better way to say this would be the relative max is y equals 4 at x equals negative 2. Again, the y value is the relative maximum, and the x value is the location. So the relative minimum sometimes is expressed as the point 2, negative 4, but really the relative minimum is y equals negative 4 when x equals 2. Okay, so that's how you find relative extrema using the graphing calculator. I hope you found this explanation helpful.